Welcome back to TTC. It must be high torque season because everyone dropping new models out here. If you don't like impacts, I don't know, man, I feel for you, but we're currently working on saws and flashlights coming up too. And while I say dropping, not sure if this Gen 2 Hercules Ultra Torque from Harbor Freight was supposed to be dropped yet or not. If you were pointed out that the new tool is on their website, a new look, a new model number, plus some spicy specs, and with that SKU number, we got our local Harbor Freight to dig one out of a recent shipment, then testing it, and while we had this thing apart in pieces, it was removed from their website, and we got a call from that Harbor Freight asking to bring it back to, quote, double check something with our purchase. Uh, yeah, sure guys, we'll be right over. Instead, we're gonna send this to a random owner of our rank charts within the next week, which we've been doing with some tested tools the last few months, so we're gonna keep it up. And just in case this Gen 2 Ultra Torque is out by the time you're watching this since we got ours a week ago, if it's not all that much of a unicorn by then, we're gonna include a 12 amp hour battery for funsies. This is the Hercules Ultra Torque SKU 58887 or model HCB85B2 and that 2 on the end being for Gen 2 we think. We also think this might have been a SEMA drop for later this month that just got leaked for half a day and on their app too. But you're in the future, you tell us. And it might be easily confused with the current Ultra Torque as it has the same exact name and only looks slightly different, some more rubber overmolding on the housing. Another easy way to spot it in person is it has this big old 1500 foot pounds plastered on the front of it, and those are not numbers the current Ultra Torque is rocking, no that one's sporting 1400 foot pounds. So what's different? Well, we have no clue. It's the same 9 inches in length, and curiously, 0.2 pounds heavier, yes 6.4 pounds bare instead of 6.2, so that's the little crumb of a detail we have to go off of. In the difference between the regular high torque and the ultra torque is any clue, that means a heavier hammer or hammer spring, which usually spells more beans. So you might be thinking the natural comparison is with the new Gen 3 Milwaukee 2967, and we can show that for sure, we'll include it in this episode, but size wise and in making this, their specs crosshairs were definitely on the current DCF 900 because they didn't even know about this 2967 when this was being made so no they released the ultra torque then got swiftly pimp slapped by the DCF 900 beating everything at the time which is a bit of a bummer and more of you guys likely have these out here to compare to than that one week old M18 especially since it's been out of stock everywhere but we'll also be comparing it to the last gen ultra torque to see that difference and up against the Ryobi high torque why because I come bearing good news. This new Gen 2 Hercules with its five year included warranty and all is 189 bucks. Yeah, cheaper than the current Ultra Torque. Well, they just lowered the current one to 189 as well, but still cheaper than the Ultra Torque has been. The only other source outside of Harbor Freight for a cordless high torque that's close to $189 is the $199 Ryobi, which we did like, but will be interesting to see that difference for your dollar on the curve. So let's test this thing, then open it up to find out what's new for Old Blue. Our first test is working torque, five seconds and forward. This is the Gen 1 Ultra versus Ryobi and DCF 900. Our DCF 961 is in the mail. Again, if you don't like impacts, I do beg your pardon. When it rains, it pours. So as you can see, the DeWalt on top with a nice spread for the Gen 2 to fit in somewhere in here. FYI, in case you have a Milwaukee 2767, the Gen 1 Hercules in black is pretty close across all of our tests, like within 3 or 4% for reference. Here's the as of now not officially released Gen 2 Hercules Ultra Torque, all 5 amp hour batteries thus far, as always. So, uh, yeah, the same, within one foot pound despite the tool being rated 100 higher in both forward and reverse but don't spike your computer on the pavement just yet we have more coming up let's head over to reverse 10 seconds of max torque median of three tests shown as usual this is what the gen 1 and ryobi high torque look like versus the dcf 900 missile Make no mistake, the Ryobi isn't useless or anything, we're just looking at impacts that have historically done very good on this channel up against that. So let's see if the Gen 2 Hercules can stand out from the crowd in reverse now. Yeah. 
725 over 718, okay? Now I'm pissed. <laughs> Did we just buy another Hercules in different clothing? You know, this wouldn't even be out of character for Harbor Freight. Often they'll have two different SKU numbers on the same tool, moving to making the same product in two different factories. And you can bet that that second factory is making it at a new lower cost. Otherwise, what's the point? So is this just made cheaper inside? We're going to find out, but one test left to tally. This is reverse 15 seconds, best case scenario. Let's rip the band-aid off. Here's the ultra torque with more rubber on the outside. Eight hundred and twelve. OK, I take that all back. Eight hundred and twelve from seven hundred and forty foot pounds. This is really odd for a few reasons. One, there aren't many changes we've seen to tools that only make gains towards the end here. This is really weird, but welcome behavior. Don't get it wrong either. You won't need to be impacting for 10, 15 seconds to see this benefit like we are here. That's just what our dyno curve looks like because we have to start from zero. Use these dyno graphics with the Y column. If your bolt is three, four, five, even 600 foot pounds worth of stuck, both Hercules models will likely take it off around the same pace. If your bolt is rusted, welded solid, and needing stuff near the top here, that's when the Gen 2 does cross nine tests of this length now, see an advantage, and even come to do things the other can't. For reasons we do not yet know of, as we've said, not a typical difference between models with the same RPM and same free speed. And two, the second reason this is surprising is that this is a $189 tool. Okay, it's not dunking on the DCF 900 yet, but 189 bucks, well, it should be 189. We have the receipt to prove it. And for some odd reason, Harbor Freight has been advertising us this tool, which leads to a since removed web page, some effective marketing that is. OK, let's take this thing apart and figure out what's going on. Then use their 8 amp hour, 12 amp hour, 21700 cell high output like packs to see what we can pump those numbers up to. Opening this thing up, two things again become immediately clear. Despite its size and shell being like a DeWalt in design, the motor's not held in with an end cap design like Milwaukee. The insides are very Milwaukee Gen 2 like. Even the hammer cage locating pin design, overall, this looks like a sort of simplified everything it needs to have version of an M182767. But that's nothing new for this Ultra Torque, and that's the second thing. This all looks like the first one, opening the hammer cage nose cone, more of the same as in looks like the last one, which looks like the M18 Gen 2. Very closely, the anvil weighs about the same and the hammer assembly, the meat and potatoes, weighs the same again. The same two pounds, four and a half ounces, or roughly the same as the Milwaukee Gen 2's two pound, four ounces that it was very heavily inspired by. But this new model does weigh overall, like altogether, 3.4 ounces heavier, so what the heck is going on? I think we found it after some probing around. So I've been going through this thing, racking my brain about what could be different, because it all measures the same. But the dyno showed a difference, and we just lost our touch. Well, this 2902301 is a different model number. There's this 2023 August 5th data manufacturer, not all that important. And then YC6022B021-02, this used to be... A dash 01 even on the high torque the ultra and high torque had the same motor for some reason then if you look at the board there's a jxq 1s 112 i that's not a one that's an i so the previous one had an h at the end and and i haven't sang the alphabet song in a while but i believe i is after h and then there's this date of design of 2022 july the first and the previous one was July 23rd, 2021. So this is clearly a next rev, a year later version of a brushless motor that's now specific to the ultra torque and not borrowed from the high torque. So that's right. Yes, a new motor. And that motor is two, almost two and a half ounces heavier, which makes sense. Of course, it couldn't be a hammer. We've done that before, putting a bigger hammer without changing the motor in a rigid high torque. That yielded losses down low from that motor not spinning up as fast, but gains up top from heavier hits. This one made gains only above certain torque levels, but otherwise performed the same. This is because up top is where the most is being asked of that motor to fight against a basically stationary anvil. A later made heavier, more windings, more efficient motor has an easier time of that. 
which hey, the original High Torque and Ultra Torque had different hammers but shared the same motor, which was sort of phoning it in, cost cutting type decision. So I guess this rectifies that and gives the Ultra Torque its own more powerful motor that spins the same speed, but is more equipped to fight the good fight when things get tough. Okay, now let's look at what difference, if any, battery selection makes. A beefier motor is great, but maybe you're bottlenecking it with a standard battery. Here we have the 8 amp hour 21700 cell battery up against the DeWalt using its preferred 6 amp hour XR, and Ryobi with a 9 amp hour battery will be upgrading soon. So that 812 becomes 831, but the DeWalt also makes even more gains from its battery upgrade. The two larger batteries that Harbor Freight offers on this tool also feel like they're clearly maxing out the gun in the numbers based on just feel. It gets more lively and poppy, like with that 8 and this 12 amp hour on screen attached. Clearly having some effect here, more felt than measured really, but still upping the ante by 10, taking 831 up to 841 foot pounds, a figure maybe one to two impacts were hitting all but two years ago. But this Hercules now makes a good amount more power than a Gen 2 Milwaukee, that's crazy. Unfortunately for Harbor Freight, while they were upgrading this thing to keep up with the DCF 900, Milwaukee did what DeWalt did last year and had to upstage them yet again with the M18-2967, their Gen 3, and that's what this looks like. If you're after raw power, there's your partner for a price. This is how the new Hercules does considering everything on the ranking charts. Starting below the Gen 1 Ultra Torque for now, its runs are turned into 56, 73, and 81. This being pretty much the same, but when you need a lifeline on something stuck, this one will be your guy. Same 9 inches in length, but made more beans, that's 90.2 foot-pounds per inch. 90 and above is what we consider modern grade stuff to be in cordless these days, so not bad. It made as much as 94% of their new updated claims for us today, really delivering more than what they promised. The difference between these two would be as a percentage here, that's good. And we also like their new process for rating tools with different testing methods. That gets a thumbs up from us. $189, that's the biggest thumbs up. 64.6 points as a function of performance and price, a record in high torques on the channel. This is just plain great value with the included five year warranty over the counter, hard to say otherwise. This all totals 458.6, placing it up here, fourth overall in cordless high torques right now from Harbor Freight, crazy stuff. I also briefly mentioned how that new model feels with different batteries. It feels perhaps even more balanced than before, in our collective opinion with a standard battery on, getting a 7 out of 10 in our wrist breaking scale, but either their 8 or 12 amp hour batteries make it feel like its original 7 and 3 quarter self though, so it's going to get a note here about battery type, overall pretty lively but nothing insane. The biggest story though we feel is right here. When we tested the original Ultra Torque when it came out, it was 220 bucks. Then a few months later it became 199 and has been since. Now with the reduction to 189 for either the HCB85B or HCB85B2 here, yes it's basically a new motor version of the same tool, maybe even the motor it should have had originally. But while other brands are out here up in the price and having to deliver massive performance and breaking records along the way in order to place well here on our channel, Harbor Freight appears to be going the other direction in price and I think that's something a lot of people these days can get behind. The last one proved hard to kill, surprisingly. I'm sure this one will be as well since little has changed. If someone's looking to buy just one impact to do it all performance to price, it's hard not to bring up Hercules in that conversation these days. We really are spoiled for choice. We make episodes like these at least every Friday. Click subscribe to join us for those. Thanks for watching.